Hello, I'm John Schwanner, also known as the All Grand Gamer. I'm D Will. And I'm Phil. And we're back with uh, another episode of Kazap. Now, um, we did a level two concept levels, and today we have uh, QA. Um, we each played and gave feedback. Uh, I just put mine in the uh, QA test and feedback folder. What about you two? Uh, I didn't have time to type it out, so I played them. Alright. Anything you can uh, remember on the fly? Um, your level with the circle jumping was really annoying. <laughs> Yeah. But it would be good if we could get it a little bit easier. What about you, Dex? Uh, I did not play them. This would be bad for me. Alright, um, well that kind of leads into my next section is, uh, level two, you discussed you might want to do that. You might want to create level two. Or at least one of the levels. Say that again, I'm sorry. You uh, expressed interest in creating one of the levels. Perhaps level two. Yeah, I, can, I can do that. Okay. Yeah, so the concepts will give you a bit of an idea. So, um, Phil, when you were talking about the circle jumping part, did... Uh, did you try using the elevators that were on the left? Uh, or did right. you only try the circles? I remember seeing those afterwards. No, I never saw them when I was playing right. through it, so... Ah. Uh, Makes so it kind of difficult. Yes. Okay, so their placement's not easily spotted. Yeah. I just needed a decal arrow pointing up. Mm-hmm. I just had the platform go a little lower for a little longer. Yeah. Or something, so they could see. But the plan was that the elevator would be easier, but harder, because there would be enemies on it. And the circles would be less dangerous, but harder. But yeah, impossible. <laughs> you got any comments for one of Dexter's levels? Um, I wish I could have pictures of them. Well, I had the, uh, the second concept had the bunch of moving circles at the end and the big one that like jittered back and forth real quick. Oh, that was cool. I didn't fight. And the first one was just uh, two moving platforms and then jumped on to, I can't remember. That one I don't think I did anything with because I kept getting stuck in the ground. Yeah. The, oh yes, the I mean, slope, yes. Yeah, that one slope. Yeah. I didn't think it was going to do that, and then there's no way to delete it, so I couldn't do anything <laughs> with it. Yeah, I had a lot of trouble trying to select slopes, Yeah, they too. didn't select yet. Okay. It doesn't use the same selecting code, and I didn't. Yeah, I had to keep using Z. Yep. I mean, you can delete them if you save it and delete the line from the save file, but... Yeah, that's a... That's work. That's, that's beyond my scope at this point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> need a guide for that. Um, other than that though, like, uh, Dexter's levels mostly, um, they were pretty good for a uh, challenge for uh, level two, but there was just a lot of spots where you just fall into nothingness. There's like no real uh, safety net or at least the ground. Well, it's supposed to kill you. Yeah, <laughs> but it just happens uh, so often, specifically with the uh, the giant circle that jitters. Hmm. Like, you can get on that fine, and then when you jump to the next part, um, if the platforms aren't aligned properly or an enemy hits you, you can't get back on the big circle, and you just <laughs> That happened a lot. Yeah, that, that circle's a little bit of a bitch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was trying to be as annoying as possible, and I think it worked. For the second one, uh, tiny circle jumps. Those are those just, are one of the most annoying. Are so annoying. Yes. Kind of slid right off them. <laughs> yep. 
it takes a very specific spot to stand. Yeah. So level two design alpha is due. Um, is that Wednesday, the sixteenth? That is Tuesday. Tuesday. Dex, does that sound doable to you? Wait, what? Level two, design alpha, where you just make the concept of the ten to fifteen minute level. You think you, you can do Wednesday? that on Tuesday? Tuesday. Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Um, I might have to push, I want to push mine back to Thursday, because I have a math exam on Wednesday. Alright, um, when you do make a level 2, just keep in mind, uh, generally, you want to be able to run through the map half the time that it's supposed to take, so a 7 minute map, and then when you add in enemies, it'll usually, uh, Paint on the amount of enemies, it'll double the amount of time it takes. Yeah. That's a general rule of thumb. Let me change that to the 6th, or no, you want the 18th. 18th Thursday. Yes. Oops. Change the day in the wrong thing. Alright. Now, Phil, what's our, uh, that's with the level one boss. Um, it's mostly working. The level one boss is really kind of easy to make. I I don't have um, a release set yet because I was trying to fix the jumping and mm -hmm. <laughs> that's not even functional anymore. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> so that'll be a little longer. But it's progress. All right, I put up a uh, level one with some enemies. Um. Is there any way to change the enemy size? Yes. Would you like that added? Yes. Kay. Change the enemies what? The size of the enemies. Oh, yeah. Because uh, the one on the giant platform in the middle um, is supposed to be a heme, but, uh, or heme, but it's just still a dot on the platform right now. Yeah. And then I put uh, three patrollers in the boss zone just to represent where the boss will be. Okay. Now going into uh, our storyboard and game combination with the triggers. Um, what's your two think you can get that on? To do what? When do you think? When do you think you guys could get the uh, triggers done? The dialogue from Act One put into the actual level. How much dialogue is there? Uh, what? It's like three pages. Dexter wrote. For, but it's not like really like three three pages. It's just for inside the temple though. Inside the temple? No, it's like a page or less. Um. Probably be quick. I think I might add dialogue triggers into the editor just because we'll do them so much. Alright. Will, uh, will like a box come up for where to type in the dialogue when you put one of the triggers in? Um. Probably, yeah, something like that. Box or maybe a line. Alright, well, uh, we do have the QA coming up, so, do you think you'll have that done in time? For? For the 20th. Maybe we can get that done. If it's right. a... can you get it done with enough time for Dexter to fill the stuff in? Oh, the, tr or I can yeah, that's, it. that's the time that's going to take the longest. Making the triggers work should be quick. Just adding them all, all in. Right. Yay, my <laughs> I can help you. Hmm. Uh, as long as it's after Wednesday, I shouldn't have a problem. Alright, 
Alright, we also have the uh, level 2 mini boss um, AI, which, if I remember correctly, is not in the GDD I have up right now. Let's see if I can find it. No, it's not. It's just going for level 1. Okay. Wait. What did you say, John? What did you want the level two mini boss to be? Um, the level two mini boss was the uh, what's it called the the knight, the, like buff he yeah like the armored heem he may. All right, and then the final boss was um, Detective Rose infected. Yeah. All right. Let's make sure I have that one right. Mm-hmm. Alright, and on the subject of our uh, public QA, um, that's going to be, we're going to need a little bit of planning on that one. It's scheduled for uh, Saturday. Any time in particular that would work best to come down and let people play? Um. When are you guys free during that day? When you guys wake up if you have the day off? How, Wait, how are, are we running you, do you want us to, like, the QA? Yeah. What? Where are we doing this? We're going to do it at the, uh, that place we keep meeting. Where we used to meet. At your bomb. Yeah. I'm going to bring my laptop with, um, the last version of Kazab on it, with level 1, and maybe the level 2 alpha, depending okay. on how far along we are on that. And then we'll, uh, just let people play in there. The only thing about next Saturday is it's homecoming. For college? Yeah, for our, our school. Okay. So that might... I don't know if anyone's gonna actually going to be there. Is it a whole day thing, or is it... Kind of. Everyone's going to be day drinking. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. I'm um, sure I'd just say drinking. They're just going to be drinking. I mean... Well, it's college. They're used to that. So would earlier in the day work better for getting actual students, <laughs> I, or just people around? I really don't know. On the know. Week to week. <laughs> I like, I don't know the traffic pattern there on the weekends at least. It might be better during the week, just because people go and sit in there to kill time, if that's at all possible. It should be possible, but uh, I won't know until at least that Monday, because I'm in transitioning period to another class after this weekend. So that's when I start my next class. So I don't know my schedule at this okay. point. Um, we could just uh, go in Saturday, see if anyone's around, and if not, we'll just try later in the week. Okay. So what time would work for you guys? I mean, I think we'd have our best look around lunchtime. Alright. So like 12? Yeah. Alright, we'll, uh, we'll set up, um, 12 to 1 will be our QA time. I'll try to arrive 15 minutes early. And if no one's there, we'll just talk about some kid have stuff for a bit or something. Uh, we'll try again later in the week. Um, if we don't get enough people, we'll try again later in the week, too. We'll just play it by ear. Yeah, okay. Alright. And for the... Uh, what we actually QA, um, do we want to add anything to level 1 as it is before we QA it? Um, you want me to see if I can get the object shaded in? 
the what? All the objects in it, so they're not just wireframes. Okay. Would that be? That's good. That'd be cool. That actually reminds me, and I forgot to put this in the agenda, but um, for our final month of December, I was thinking if we can get level three nailed out um, sometime early mid November, we can spend December uh, putting in art and music and uh, bug testing as well. With Kazav, I wanted um, everything to just be what we made and not use anyone else's assets, but um, still haven't heard from any of the artists, so I'm fine with just finding assets from other games that would work or public domain assets and putting them in. Okay. That works. So when do we finish finals? Isn't it around like December 16th or something? Yeah, it usually is. Alright. So yeah, this like, from the 16th to the 21st, that's officially what I can do uh, doing nothing, which I can actually put everything towards that. Alright. Well, you got, uh, like, four days, because 20th is our end date. I thought it was the 21st. Was it 20th? Uh, midnight on the 20th, where it turns into the 21st is our deadline. Gotcha. Alright, so um, before that, like the week prior, you'll be really busy with finals. Like Mostly. the 7th, the 15th, or something like that. Uh, Actually, yes, I will. The last is I the forgot. 14th. The finals. All right. Again, I don't know what my schedule will be like, but I'll try to get a lot of the assets in early, and then we can spend most of the month um, bug testing. Mm -hmm. That just requires playing the game, document anything, mm -hmm. and then get it yeah. to fill. Put it mm -hmm. to work. Just get it. Get everything to fill. Yep. The fixer. Right, anything else you guys want to talk about? Mm -hmm. Uh, my my fixing for the jumping will probably cause it to be different. Okay. So, just a heads up. We'll see what ends up happening. As long All as right. you make it so, I, so it's a little bit like a tooth fight, whatever. Yeah, it should be it should be the similar, but just not get stuck or do super jumps <laughs> off of walls hmm. and. Everybody likes super We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, that might remind me of something. Um, our first power, I think, is double jump. And then it's, yeah. Our first power is double jump. And then the second power is dash, and there's none for level three. Um, we need to think how to implement that. Are we going further than level three, though? What's that? I mean, we're not doing any more levels than three, right? Yeah. So why do we need a power for level three? Unless, are we giving... We don't have a power oh, for level Are we giving three. it early, though? Um, it's just double jump level one, and then dash level two. But when then level three, level three is like its own level, and then you do the final boss fight, right? Kinda, like, it leads to the boss fight. There's no level three boss. Yeah. It's the end boss. But yeah. But you do the temple before you do the boss, so you get the Yeah. Move yep. Before you do the boss. So he's just the boss is just at the end of the temple. Which if we were able to get more levels in, we'd just move him. And put in a replacement boss. Um double jump we can worry about after the QA. We'll see what people think of how it plays and then we'll add the double jump and we'll have it ready for QA2 when we do, I believe, level 2 and level 1 with the dialogue in. Alrighty. Um, I guess that's it. Unless anyone has anything else to add for one final time? Nope. Alright. It's Project Kazab.
Signing off.